Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to answer the question, what is condensate blow-off? So condensate blow-off, sometimes called water carryover, is when condensation forms on a water coil and then becomes separated from the coil surface and becomes airborne. So let me draw a coil. So this is just the side of the coil. Let's say you have warm air coming into your coil. So if your warm outside air passes over a cooling coil, under certain conditions, condensation will form on the surface of the coil. This is just what happens when a glass of ice water is out on a hot, humid summer day. The water in the air condenses to the outside of the cold glass. In our HVAC system, you don't want water droplets being blown off the coil and into the airstream. So let's look at what can cause this. Well, first of all, too high face velocity across the coil will blow the condensate off the coil. Or if your outside air has a high latent load, it can condense as well. Another thing that could happen is maybe you don't have a blank off around the coil that seals it well and some of the air, some of the warm outside air is bypassing the coil and condensing on the back side of the coil. So it's best to just avoid all these situations that can cause condensate blow off, but you can't always do that. So it's good to have a drain pan that extends six inches past the back of the coil at minimum, and sometimes we see 12 inches as well. Many selection programs will notify you that the coil you're selecting might have the potential for condensate blow off, but you can also limit your cooling coil face velocities to about 500 feet per minute, maybe plus or minus 50 feet per minute, depending on whether you're looking at outside air or return air, and that's a good rule of thumb when you select your coils to avoid condensate blow off. So that's what condensate blow off is and why it happens. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.